Your favorite story? <gasps> favorite story? Wait! Which is your favorite story? Huh. Beauty and the Berrykin Beast? Nah, Berrykins are too cute to play beasts. The very sleepy Berrykin Princess. Huh. Hiya, Plum. Uh, I'm still trying to find the perfect berry fairy tale to do as a surprise play for the Berrykin kids. Well, I just heard they have a favorite story. They do? Which one is it? Wait, don't tell me. Is it Goldilocks and the Three Berrykins? I'm not. Wait, wait. The Berry Frog Prince? Uh, no, but I... Wait, I, I know this, I know. Uh, uh, it's Little Red Berry Riding Hood. Um, Jack and the Berry Stock? I don't... Uh, I give up. Which story is it? I don't know. What? I thought you said the Baby Berrykins have a favorite story. Well, they do. I just don't know which one it is. Oh, well, we can't ask them. It'll spoil the surprise. How do we find out? <gasps> I think I know who to ask. <laughs> See you next time. Thank you for the very beautiful berry. Strawberry? I got your text. <laughs> I just read them their favorite berry fairy tale today. It's the littlest berrykin. <laughs> of course you can borrow it. Come on over. And they lived happily ever after. I love it! So cute! I've never heard that story before. Do you know if there's ever been a play version of it published? Let's do a search. Hmm. I don't see that there has. Well, could you and Huck adapt this story to a play for me? Of course! I'm so great. excited, Huck! I know just the very fairy tale to turn into a play. So, welcome all to the first reading of our version of The Littlest Berrykin. Use your imaginations to picture the story. Imagine our stage and a backdrop like this. The narrator begins. Orange, this will be your part. Once upon a time, there was a king and queen, played by me and Bluebeard. The king and queen were ready to retire to the tropics, but before departing, it was necessary to pick one of their three daughters to rule the kingdom. It all began one day as the princesses were playing croquet. Of course, they'll pick me. I'm the oldest. Well, you are the oldest, but that doesn't mean you are best fit to rule. The obvious choice is me. Oh. It's hot. I'm roasting out here. Sorry, Your Royal Highness. Is that better, Princess Vespolina? Cooler now, Your Royal Highness? Well, I am the prettiest. Therefore, it should stand to reason Mummy and Daddy will pick me. <laughs> Your turn, Strawberry Top. Hurry up, little sister. Hmm. Oh, she's so slow. They'll never pick her. You're not so speedy yourself, Lemonella. Well, I love berries. I've never heard such nonsense. Oh. Well oh, done. You did. Oh, so right. <laughs> Thank you. I think she cheated. My thoughts exactly. Lemonella, how can they be your thoughts when they were my thoughts and my thoughts first? Razbelina, just because you told me your thoughts first doesn't mean you thought them first. You are such a dunderhead. Mummy and Daddy will never pick you to rule the kingdom. There is no other choice but me, because I am the choice that is best. <laughs> Sisters, please. <gasps> There's no need to fight. Our royal parents will make the best choice, and whichever of us they choose, the others of us will support. Are you a cuckoo berry? I've had enough of this. Let's go ask them now. And so the impatient princesses, Lemonella and Rasbelina, asked the king and queen if they had come to a decision. <laughs> huh? Who, who are you? What? Yeah. <laughs> well, what you waiting for? 
Have you decided to give the kingdom to me, or what? <gasps> Is that any way to speak to your royal parents? Uh, whatever! Hmm. How should we speak anyway? Good afternoon, Your Majesties. Like your sister, Princess Strawberrita. She's always so respectful. She cheats at croquet! Yes, that's right, she sure does! <gasps> now, princesses, your mother and I have made a decision. <sighs> it's about time! Give me that crap! <gasps> Do you mind? <clears throat> Our decision is this. <clears throat> Whichever one of you can bring us back the Royal Goldenberry will be awarded the kingdom. What? Royal Golden Who? Uh, well, I never! Better get Fair started. It's a long idea. and challenging journey to find the Royal Goldenberry. <gasps> well, what are you waiting for? Go fetch me that berry. Don't listen to her. Go fetch me the berry. The berry is mine, so mine it must be. Perhaps you weren't listening, my dear daughters. You must fetch the royal golden berry yourselves. You each may bring only one berry kin in waiting with you. <sighs> you! That's right, you! Step lively, you're coming with me. Yes, your highness. That's your royal highness to you, buster. Um, yep, sure thing. Anything to say, your your high royalness, royal highness? You there. Let's get going. Excuse me, your royal highness. I'd be happy to help you find the royal golden berry, but you might not want me, because everyone knows <laughs> I'm the littlest berrykin. Littlest Barrican, I would be honored if you would help me. And so, each accompanied by their Barrican in waiting, the princesses set off on their journey. A journey that is sure to reveal who is real ruler material. The princesses are soon confronted by the first in a series of challenges. The road through the berry patch is blocked by a troll gate guarded by a troll gatekeeper. Uh, the troll will be played by Barricade Bloom. Uh, diamonds, jack of diamonds, <laughs> snarls and flea bites. What I need is a queen. But oh no, that won't work now. <gasps> oh. Hey, what's the big idea? Well, now, you see, a uh, troll. Please. Look here, troll. Do you know who we are? I am Princess Rasmalina. And I am Princess Lemonella. You must do as we say. Raise that bar. Let us pass. I command you as a royal princess. That's right. Do as you're told, troll troll. But you must pay the toll. Listen, toll who takes the troll. I order you to do as we say. Mm, oh my. In all my days as the troll who takes the toll, have I ever been treated in such a rude and unbecoming manner. The haughty princesses huff and puff and kick at the ground like goats, snorting and barking in an ever so unbecoming manner, and still refuse to pay the toll to the troll. <laughs> <laughs> They say... <laughs> Who needs your silly road anyway? We will find our own way! And what do you suppose? But they got stuck in a bramble bush. The troll who takes the toll could hear the princesses doing all kinds of mean and nasty yelling from the bramble bush. Hmm. Very unfitting for princesses indeed. Not another one. Oh my! A toll booth. Mm, what shall I do? I cannot pay the toll. Well, we'll have to go around. If you don't mind a suggestion? Not at all, little Asparagin. Maybe if you ask the troll nicely? Excuse me, sir. Uh. I haven't a token, but I have a long journey and don't know any other way through the berry patch. If you let me through, I promise to return another time and pay you the toll. Well, that's more like it. 
Ah. Oh, thank you, sir. Ever so kindly. <laughs> thank you. And come again. Presently, Princess Strawberryda and the littlest fairykin arrived at a vast lake with no way across. But the littlest fairykin happened to notice a boat fairykin, who will be played by Princess Fairykin, pulled up at the dock. You must be hungry, littlest fairykin. Perhaps we should have our picnic here, then walk around the lake. If you wouldn't mind a suggestion? Of course not. Perhaps if you offer to share our lunch with the captain, she'll take us across the lake in her boat. That's a very nice idea. We should share our lunch with her either way. Huh? Huh? Ahoy! Huh? I hope we didn't wake you, ma'am. Why, no, me lasses. Just take it a wee nap. I am Strawberryta, and this is the littlest berrykin. Would you like to share our picnic? It's such a nice day for one. Arr! And that's mighty generous of you. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> difficult. These poor plants. They need water. Your Highness, if you wouldn't mind another suggestion. Please, come with me. Uh, 
your highness? Royal ones? We don't treat berry plants that way. I wouldn't do that if I were you. The Royal Highnesses, Your Majesties. Mommy, it's not fair. It's all her fault. She told me to go around the toll booth. It was my barricade in waiting. She wouldn't do what I told her. I want a do-over. Yes, we demand a do-over. Now, daughters, calm down. Have either of you the Royal Goldenberry? Well done, Strawberita. Ever so clever of you, darling. Ah! In each of your challenges, you showed kindness, generosity, and resourcefulness. All virtues becoming to a ruler of a kingdom. She cheated! She didn't show any of those... those... things! Yeah! Things! Whatever! She cheated! We know! We were there! <laughs> the troll who takes the toll was kind enough to give us a report of your behavior. Lemonella, Raspolina, I am ashamed by your lack of manners. He wasn't even there when we had to cross the lake. Oh, but I was. <gasps> Toss me overboard and sink me. It's pure bilge they speak. These two swabs were very rude. Well, Princess Strawberryta was a sweet lass who shared her lunch with a sea dog. I'd scupper those two scallywags and promote this lass to captain. I... Uh, excuse me, Your Majesties, but I cannot take credit for the Royal Goldenberry. <gasps> you see, there was someone who guided me all along the way and gave me good advice. And that was... the littlest barricade. This royal goldenberry should belong to you. Who? What? Who are you? I am the royal goldenberry fairy, and I know everything about you, Princess Strawberryta. You are not only kind, giving, and clever, and humble. Did I mention honest? Well, honest, too. By giving credit where credit is due, you have passed the final test and proved that it is <gasps> you who are worthy to rule the kingdom. <laughs> Aw, they have been Bears. royally spoiled! Hmm. Well, darling, it's off to the islands. Oh, 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 I can help you with that. Wow, wow, wow. Take it back. It's no problem at all. Well, okay. <laughs> Thank you, my beloved royal subjects. My first royal decree is to promote the littlest barricade to royal counselor. Hooray! And so, the littlest barricade proved that it doesn't matter how little you are, you can still do very big things. And so... Under the kind, generous, wise, and humble rule of Queen Strawberryta, the kingdom flourished 
and everybody lived very happily ever after. Well, not quite everybody. You told me we'd reach a stellar kingdom run by a knockout prince by nightfall, and it's getting dark now. I said no such thing. That was your idea. It wasn't. I'm hungry. It was. This is your fault and your fault only. we're not supposed to know about is acting surprised when she finally tells us. Now, let me see your very best surprise reaction. Wow! Woo! 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 Oh, Super swell! Oh, yay! I mean, yippee! <sighs> From the top, one more time with feeling Visualize that she has just walked in and told us the news. Your reaction is... <gasps> wow! Finally! You've got it! You look truly surprised! Surprised by what? Oh! Uh, uh... We're... practicing for my new play! <laughs> Neat! I won't interrupt. I just came by to find Orange and... Oh! See if you have a diving mask and snorkel at your store? Oh, uh, uh, sure, Strawberry. Come on. <gasps> Do you know what that means? We're gonna go snorkeling on our vacation! Yeah! <laughs> Wait! I, I don't know how to snorkel. Oh, it's easy. We'll teach you. <laughs> This is the best 
way to chop onions. <laughs> they usually make me tear up, so... You silly. <laughs> Come on! What did you say? I said, that was close. if you'd help me write this essay for a contest. Describe your dream destination. I would take my friends on a surprise vacation to the very best tropical resort in the whole bitty world. An island paradise called Beyond the Berry Breeze. Ah, I am so surprised. But, well, that's all I've got so far. <laughs> you, you made it all up? Yeah, I just keep writing and rewriting and tossing it out. <laughs> oh, I was going to give up when I thought of you. You're the perfect person to help me. Sure. Just uh, leave it with me and I'll see what I can do to mess it up. I mean, fix things for good. Uh, I mean, fix it up. <laughs> Thanks, Blueberry. You're the best. Word. Come on, it's me. Well, it was your idea. <sighs> Beyond the berry breeze. <laughs> That's it. Hi, you blueberry. Ready to try on your beach sarong? No, no. No beach sarong. I love mine. What's wrong, blueberry? Well, I did some research on Beyond the Berry Breeze Island. And, <laughs> can you believe it? There are... Um, uh, no restaurants there. Anywhere. Uh, no place to eat at all. I mean, huh, what kind of vacation would it be if we can't eat? <gasps> oh, no. Oh, oh, no. no. Well, I'll be very hungry. Well, did you tell Strawberry? No. I mean, I can't give Strawberry the bad news until Strawberry gives us the good news about the surprise vacation. She's got to out. I'm sure Strawberry will cancel the trip when she finds out. <laughs> we won't let that happen. We can't let Strawberry down. <gasps> we'll live on island food. Oh, oh, like coconuts and mangoes and mangoes and coconuts? Yeah! No, you can't. I, I mean, the island food only grows on very tall trees. Uh, way too high for bitty girls like us to reach. So, perhaps, uh, we should forget the whole thing until next year? Or maybe the year after that? Maybe you're right, Blueberry. What if we couldn't climb all the way up to the... I mean, oh, maybe we shouldn't go. I was so looking forward to it. I'm so, so sorry. Well, it's not your fault. Oh, that was awful. I hope they weren't too disappointed. What's awful, Blueberry? <sighs> oh, Bosley Bookworm. I've really gotten myself into a pickle. You're inside a pickle? No, I misunderstood something Strawberry said, and so I told all my friends we were going on a vacation, but we really aren't. So instead of disappointing them, I kind of made up some things that I thought they wouldn't like about the vacation. 
Oh. <laughs> May I ask, uh, did it work? <sighs> well, it did, but I never want to go through that again. No, I would think not. Mm. I'll see you later, Bozzy Bookworm. I want to see what that sound is. I don't know. Where's your can-do spirit? Kinda in a can-do place. Don't give up, Blueberry. No, wait! about your pickle that you were in and tell them what really happened. <sighs> Maybe. I know I was wrong not to tell them from the start, but I don't need to tell them the truth now, because they've already given up on the trip. I'm sure of it. <gasps> What's that? Maybe it's the sound of them giving up. In fact, it's going to be fun! Come on, join us! Maybe some other time? Like now? I'm okay. Mostly. We'll take this flying thing a step at a time, Blueberry. We want you to start small and work up to total and complete freefall. Freefall? Must I? It's for the vacation. Oh, the vacation. Uh, yes. Now remember, baby bounces. Just little tiny baby bounces. Wow! Maybe we tighten those a little too tight. Then let's be 
Vulcan, Operation Untangle Wangle. Oh, wait! What? Hey, what's going on? Good job, squad. Time for Operation Arrive Alive. Prepare to dive. Dive? Dive how? What is this diving? up on you. And don't worry, we're not giving up on our vacation either. Yes, I can see that. <laughs> wow, what you doing with all these birds? Um, um, Blueberry got stuck. Yeah, stuck. <laughs> up in that flower? Yeah, flower. However, did you get way up there in the first place? Um, I think I need to speak to Strawberry alone. What is it, Blueberry? You know you can tell me anything. I'm your friend. I don't know if you will be after I tell you. I... I overheard you talking about that island. The one in your essay. Oh, my Describe Your Dream Destination essay for the contest? Yes, except... I didn't know it was a contest. I thought... I thought you were going to take us all on a surprise vacation. And I told everyone about it. Ooh. The girls were so excited. I didn't have the heart to tell them it was a mistake. So I tried to give them reasons not to go. But they just wouldn't give up on it. Oh, my strawberry. They're never going to forgive me. Well... Don't give up on them. Tell them the truth. That it was... All my misunderstanding. So, there's going to be... No vacation. I'm sorry for everything I put you guys through. So, there's going to be... No vacation? No snorkeling? No surfing? No mangoes or coconuts? No parachutes or, or, or bungees? No Blue Jays! Mangoes snark... Blue Jays? It's all the things we imagined would be part of our vacation. Hmm. Except for the Blue Jays. It sounds like a perfect vacation. A dream, dream destination. destination! Hey, we can put all the things we imagined into your essay. give up and send it in like it is. Give up? We never give up. <laughs> now that's the spirit, Blueberry. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. There must be something else we made up for Beyond the Berry Breeze. The secret knock? Beyond the Berry Breeze. <gasps> and your bitty song. We'll fly to you with these. That's it. Maybe we can make the essay special by making it a song. That just might work!
it. Wonderful, girls. That's it. Let's record it and send it in. It's here. The contest results. We won first prize in the vacation essay contest. Called Berry Breezy Bay. <laughs> it may not be beyond the Berry Breeze, <laughs> but it's real. <laughs> Thank you for not giving up, Blueberry. Well, I had some inspiration. <laughs> Do you guys like the song? We love it. <laughs> Did you try that new berry shake at the cafe? Oh, so yeah. good. Hey, by the way, where is Strawberry? Hi, everybody. Strawberry. Hi, Strawberry. Hi, Strawberry. Oh, am I early? Right on time. I'm just running a bit behind. Let's see. Sorry, Blueberry. Can I put you over here? Let me put you over here. Tea? Thank you. And let's get those pinkies soaking. How much time do we have? We're running out of time. I wish there was a way to do hair and nails faster. I don't want to be late for the special event. Lemon, you're not just the fastest. You're the best. Yeah. 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 Thank you, thank you. Just doing my job. And a very excellent job. Thanks to you, we're all going to look gorgeous for the opening day of Mr. Longface's Croquet Country Club. I've never played a, a croquet. Well, it's kind of like golf, but with wire hoops instead of holes. It's fun. <laughs> <gasps> this could be a new look for us. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, here, let me. Oh, I got it, I got it. Here, look at that. Okay, hold still. There, got it. <laughs> no, it's great. Looks great. <laughs> Never look better. I love it. <laughs> sure does. It's locked. Oh, goodness. I'm in us late and now Mr. Longface has locked us out. I don't think he'd do that to us just for being late. Who? Plum? Raspberry, could you please give me a leg up? Sure thing. Here you go. Oh, no, this won't do at all. A little longer there. That... Oh, that's wrong. Well, he's in there. What's he doing? Um, excuse me, Mr. Logface! Uh, oh! Okay, down, please. Uh, uh, uh. I have to apologize, Mr. Longface. It's my fault we were late to your opening. Oh, the apology is mine, Miss Meringue. Uh, the opening of my croquet country club is, in fact, well, not opening. Not opening? Why? Oh, it has been postponed, due, I am ashamed to say, to an unsatisfactorily trimmed lawn. Shameful. Perfectly shameful, isn't it? Looks very nice to me. Yeah, yeah. So it's nice. Really good. Uh, how do you play? This looks like fun. Can I be blue? How do we start? We each take turns hitting our balls through those wires called wickets. <laughs> But it's not level. Oh, why, if one was to send a ball rolling across something as rough as that, oh, there's, there's no telling where it would end up. Oh, I'm sorry, my friends, but I'm ashamed to say that I won't be ready to open until later. 
We'd be happy to help you trim the grass. Yeah, I'm pretty good with a pair of scissors. Yeah, yeah we're we're all all are. Sure. Oh, thank you, everyone. <laughs> uh, but help is on the way. <gasps> oh, hello, friend Berrikins. And thank you for coming to my rescue. Hey, no problem. That's your service. Let's get to work. <laughs> We weren't late after all. Only because the opening is postponed. Nah. It would have been okay. Yeah, it's okay, Lemon. Hey, how about we all go for a picnic at the pond? I love this idea. What a beautiful day. <laughs> Lemon? Thanks, Strawberry, but I think I have some work to do in my salon. <laughs> But all your customers are going on a picnic. There isn't anyone who needs a makeover. My salon needs a makeover. I want to fix it up so that everything runs a little smoother, so I can do everyone's hair faster. Okay, I'll save a sandwich for you. Thanks, Strawberry. Salonomatic. Guess what I'm doing right now. Oh, oh hi, hi, Mary. What are you doing right now? Um, standing, mm. uh, spending quality time with your talented and charming mm. friends. Mm, having a waffle. Thank you. Yes, I'm doing all those things as well as I'm cleaning my bookstore. Oh, like uh, this afternoon? No, right now. <laughs> My new automatic clean-o-matic does it while I'm away. Keeps my bookstore nice and shiny. I don't have to do a thing. Which gives me time to catch up on writing all my book reviews. Ooh, when can I borrow it? Anytime. Excuse me, girls. Hello? Hi, Lemon. Oh, we're all over here at Blueberry's watching her new clean-o-matic. Hey, does anybody need a, 
Uh, you know, trim, a uh, manicure, anything. Trim? A uh, manicure? Uh, hi, Lemon. Uh, no, we're good. Thanks, lemon. Nope, we're good. Huh? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well then, uh, bye. I guess. you're enjoying your time off. Well, it's nice, but actually, I feel like there isn't a lot to do here, and I'd like to be useful. Is there anything I could do at the cafe to help you? Of course. <laughs> Guess what I'm doing right now? Uh, drinking a smoothie, and... <laughs> Don't tell me. I'm cleaning my store. <laughs> <laughs> Can I borrow the Cleanomatic next? <laughs> of course! Well, how are the smoothies? Mmm. Delicious! What do you think? Yum! Mmm! Mm. Alive with fruit flavor. <laughs> Lemon's a natural. Oh, I think I like the way you make them better, Strawberry. Well, with practice, I'm sure you'll make them the same way I do, in no time. That's really sweet, but I don't want to make you spend time teaching me to do something you can do yourself. I'm not sure cafe work is for me. The Bitty City Bop is all about... Uh, your feet? The beat. Oh, yeah. The... the beat. And step to the left, and forward, and three steps. Oh, I mean to the right. Oops. Ouch. Oh, I meant left. <sighs> you were great, Lemon. Oh, let's take five. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, Plum. You're so nice to hire me to teach, but honestly, you do this better than anyone. And we don't really need two dance teachers. Are you sure? I'm sure. Fun, huh? Uh, sure. But I don't think you really need my help. What do you mean? Well, Orange, I mean, how many times can we re-alphabetize these cans? Uh, but... I just want to make a special contribution, like I used to. Doing something that I have fun at. The way I did with hairstyling. Hmm. Well, you've had so many great ideas about how to reorganize my store. I was thinking... Yes? Why not come up with an idea for a fun new business? Start a new business? Oh, I can't do that. Sure you can. <laughs> your new fairy. It's such a great idea. Uh, such a great service. Oh, thank you, but not a very much needed service. Hello, Hello. Hi. Hi. Now remember, 
remember, it's not a picnic. It's bird watching today. Got it. Closed for the season? Oh, no. But, Lemon, we all want you here. We need you here. What's Big Bitty City got that we don't have? Something for me to do where I can have fun and be useful. Oh. Thanks for caring. But don't look so sad. I'll come back and visit. A lot. Promise. Come on. I have an idea. You want us to put honey in our hair? But how's that gonna keep Lemon from leaving? Watch. Why not? Look what the salon o did to us. Oh, no! Quick, back to the salon! I'm not sure what Strawberry will think of this plan. It sure is a good thing we caught you in time. Can you help us? At your service! But are you sure you can't join us? Uh, just for lunch. Everyone misses you very, very much. Oh, thank you, Miss Shortcake, but every hour I'm not preparing the lawn is another hour my grand opening is delayed. Is level. Isn't the important thing that we all have fun together and enjoy each other's company? A nice boat ride. Oh, a nice picnic lunch. I'm sure it would mean a lot to Lemon. Oh, well, I... Uh, I didn't think of it that way. I wouldn't want to let Miss Meringue down, <laughs> but my lawn. Mr. Longface, we want you back. You are so much more important to Berry Bitty City than this lawn. Am I? Of course. Don't you know that? Oh, uh, can you excuse me? There's something I need to tell someone. Hmm. I'm more important to Berry Bitty City than you. <laughs> <sighs> I know, and I appreciate what you're trying to do. Please, girls, I'm gonna miss the bus. Good. What's happening? Strawberry! She's moving! Please stop her, Strawberry! Don't let her leave! Lemon, you're leaving? Oh, Strawberry, I just feel there's no need for me to stay in Berry Bitty City. Not unless I can do something useful, something that everyone needs. I'll tell you what we need. Someone to take care of the complaints about this machine. What complaints? Oh, where do I begin? One, the machine is lousy at conversation. And boy, is it useless at giving advice. Two, it doesn't tell you how nice you look or offer any fashion hints. Three, it won't laugh at any of our jokes. Four, it doesn't fit in a sleeping bag for sleepovers. And it won't even respond when you send it an invitation. How rude. Five, it doesn't have a shoulder to cry on. And six, this is by far the worst. It never hugs. Yeah, yeah that's, that's right. right. Uh -huh. We love you for who you are as a person and friend, Lemon. And that machine can never be any of those things. I sent back my Wonder Waffler. Too perfect. 
There just wasn't the individual touch of the cook. Does this mean I have to send back my Cleanomatic? It hasn't cleaned the dance studio yet. We don't have to send the Cleanomatic back. What I'm trying to say is, oh Lemon, will you please stay with us? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> ah, Miss Shortcake, you're right. I've been neglecting you all. Miss Meringue, oh, I'm sorry I never visited your fairy. How can I make it up to you? Well, could you help us push the salon matic over to the post office? I'm sending it back. At your service. Oh, oh no! Oh, my. Mr. Longface. Not at all, Miss Meringue. Your machine has trimmed the grass to perfection. Oh, I hereby declare Mr. Longface's croquet club open for business. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Meringue, would it be too much to ask? It's all yours, Mr. Longface. Splendid! Would you do the honor of hitting the first official ball? My pleasure. Oh! 